So of these games, we have Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 3 RDST, Halo Reach, Halo 4, Halo 5, Halo Master Chief Collection, Halo Infinite, Spartan Strike, Spartan Assault, which I think that came first technically, Halo Wars, Halo Wars 2, and then I think this is some kind of like arcade version, and then there's Halo 2600 for the Atari, which was out way before my time. So I have never seen it, never played it. So yeah. So I think we just go left to right, start with Halo 1, the first ever Halo. Great game. I played it when on the Xbox original when it literally, like literally when it came out, it was like the first video game I ever actually played. Played through the whole campaign with my dad on Legendary, had a blast back when I was like super fucking young. Um... Went back to it not too long ago. Played through the campaign on Legendary again. Had a blast. I think this game... Is it amazing or godly? I don't know. We're going to put it as amazing right now. But that can change at any time as we go through some of these other ones. Halo 2. Introduction to dual wielding. Introduction to... A lot of things. Uh, loved the first couple missions, dealing with the scarab and all that. Loved the ability to hop onto it. Uh, loved the ability of being the arbiter on his missions throughout as well. Love that when you go back with at least the Master Chief Collection, there's a there's a skull to like have scarab weapons where all weapons shoot scarab lasers. That's fun. I don't fully remember if that's in Halo 2. I think Halo 2 is great. I don't think it's as good as the first. Do love the idea of dual wielding, but it is not that good. Halo 3. Introduction to... Oh, so many things. Tons of Flood. Uh, the Grave Mine. Dealing with Cortana and all that stuff. Honestly, one of my favorites... I prefer it over Halo 1. Definitely. Love Halo 3. This is where my bias definitely shows. Halo 3 RDST. Super story-driven game. Super fun. Very dark. Like, physically dark. Like, light dark. Because when you're playing as the rookie, you're wandering this the city alone at the dead of night looking for clues of what happened to everyone else and then intermittent you're with a group of people fighting your way through the city and doing all this stuff i think it's one of the best games honestly i love halo 3 rdst so much and introduction to uh firefight wave based defending against waves getting harder activating skulls and all that kind of stuff Halo Reach, one of everyone's favorites. Unfortunately, it is not one of my favorites. It just kind of fell beneath the cracks. Did not seem to stand out that much. I think it's a good game. I would not, I don't actively go back and be like, I want to play Halo Reach. No, I, I, I think Halo Reach, it's a good game. But I would go back to any of these games above it any day. Halo 4, meh. Enough said. Halo 5. Bad. Halo 5 doesn't even feel like it's in the same league. Master Chief Collection. This is where I'm conflicted. Because technically, it's godly in the sense of you need one game to play basically all of them but 4 and 5. Are 4 and 5 in Master Chief Collection? I don't think so. Maybe they are. But it's like one game for all of them. But it's also like, doesn't even need it. Takes up so much storage. If I just want to play Halo 1, why can't I just have Halo 1 installed? Why does it need to take up all the storage? So that's where I'm like, conflicted. I argue that it shouldn't exist. Because, again, storage. Yes, accessibility, cross-platform, all this stuff. But here's the thing. You can't play cross-platform campaign. You can do cross-platform multiplayer as much as you want. Cannot do cross-platform campaign. Also, takes up storage for every game, whether you want to play them or not. Instead of 
being like, I just want to play Halo Reach. I'm just going to install the size of Halo Reach or ODST or whatever. So I think the, I argue that the game shouldn't exist. Halo Infinite. Campaign, open world. First time trying to do that. Um, multiplayer, pretty meh. I put it as good. I'd go to Reach over Infinite, though, I think. Uh, we're going to skip these because they're kind of basically mobile games. We're not going to do these yet. I don't think I've ever played Spartan Strike. I haven't. I've yet to play it. I have played Spartan Assault a bit. So we're going straight to what we're playing today, which is Halo Wars, which is Gabi. Uh, no, I'm going to put a top tier amazing. Love this game. Love the real-time strategy aspect of Halo. This was a huge game when I was a child. Halo Wars 2, however, that's what I'm going to put in Godly because not only does it expand upon the last Halo Wars, but it also adds in a whole new game mode where you need to get cards and open packs and stuff. But it also adds a whole bunch of new, like, um, like commanders to play with like their own special units and abilities and stuff like that. So it took the Halo Wars game and just expanded it in every which way. And the campaign was not as great, but the multiplayer and the skirmish and all that, fantastic. Spartan Assault. Top down, run around, get points, unlock stuff, do challenges. I'd say it was pretty good. Spartan Strike, haven't really played it. But from what I've seen, it looks pretty meh. So take this one with a grain of salt, everything else. Yeah. And then these two I've never played, so I cannot physically put them on here. But yeah, I think this is my tier list for Halo games. Mostly in the idea of campaign and like the story and what they added. So feel free to have a different opinion. It just makes us different.